Want to go to Des Moines, Iowa? That is where candidate Ron Paul is speaking. Let's uh, listen in. Enthusiasm has been building. Of course, I've been in the business of promoting a uh, cause of liberty for a lot of years, and it has changed over the years. Uh, for a long time, it was very subtle and quiet. I did it by uh, voting all the time in Washington the way I thought I should vote. Frequently, it required me to vote no, oftentimes. But uh, today, the enthusiasm has tremendously seen an increase. And it's a big difference even from four years ago. Four years ago, there was enthusiasm and excitement. The college campuses were coming alive. The Federal Reserve became an issue. And a lot of people back then were talking about it was time to change our foreign policy. Today, 70% of the American people are saying it's time to get out of Afghanistan and come on home. But the excitement has built steadily, and uh, the campaign has been remarkable in the organization. The funds have come in. They've come in, uh, as was mentioned in the introduction earlier, even four years ago, raising $6 million in one day was historic. But the funds still come in, which is a vote of confidence. The idea that, uh, as well, that military personnel send a lot of money this campaign, more than any of the other campaigns. But I tell you what, the, the enthusiasm uh, is, is is growing by leaps and pounds and bounds. The, the crowds are getting bigger. And the issue, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one issue. You know, they talk about a lot of issues. They talk about the foreign policy, and monetary policy, economic policy. There's one issue that has made America great, and the issue that you can answer all your questions on is individual liberty. That is the issue. And it was, the, it was the abuse of this liberty that promote, provoked the revolution and then the writing of the Constitution. The Constitution was written as a document, though we were coming together into one country, the document was written, it was intended to at least, to strictly restrain the federal government. That's what the Constitution is all about. And yet today we have, a, we have a federal government that's grown by leaps and bounds, and the best demonstration of that is the spending. Spending never ceases. One administration to the next, it's always spending increases. Even today when they talk about cuts, you know they're not talking about cuts. They're talking about tinkering around the edges and nibbling away at the proposed increases. What we're talking about are real cuts and the shrinking of the size of the federal government. You cannot do that unless you raise the one significant question, and that is what should the role of government should be. If liberty is the most important issue, the most important responsibility of government is to protect liberty and not to be the policeman of the world and not to have a runaway welfare state. But somewhere along the way, we lost, uh, we lost our way. We went in the wrong direction. We have allowed our, our government to grow. We've, we've accepted the idea that the federal government's responsibility was to intervene in the economy, not to protect the free market economy, not to pro protect private property and contracts and sound money. It was to intervene and play mischief. It wasn't to protect your privacy. Right now, today, this government spends more time and energy, energy in passing law, invading your privacy. It should be the other way around. We want exposure and openness of government. We want your privacy back. And we, and we don't want the government to be messing around with the uh, Internet invading our privacy. We don't need a Patriot Act that tells you that the government can come in and invade your house and your homes and your papers and everything that you do without a proper search warrant. And we certainly don't need to be moving on to the next stage, which is happening right now. Last week or two weeks ago, it was passed and then just recently signed by the president, authorizing the military to arrest American citizens and allowing the American citizens for citizens to be, to be held indefinitely. That is the wrong direction. We need to reverse that direction. But we have to...
We have to answer the correct question properly. What is the proper role? Stay right, out of. You've been listening to Ron Paul there. Republicans fighting it out in Iowa. Democrats, of course, watching very closely and waiting. President Obama, he's already started campaigning, but he doesn't know who he's going to run against. Joining us to talk about that, CNN contributor and Democratic strategist James Carville. James, good to see you in okay. person here. Yeah. So you and I were watching uh, Ron Paul. Right. Is he the guy who you want, if you had your wish list, to run against Obama? Who's the guy yeah, who yeah, you want to see but run against the president? But that's wishing for, for, for something that's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and the interesting thing about uh, Ron Paul is uh, that speech he would have given four years ago, eight years ago. I mean, it's, it, it, it just I mean, given change. consistent.